tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Big city port was in the grips of a strange winter. Water that was calm one moment whipped up into violent waves the next, and razor sharp winds threw snow all around. The tugboats had to weather it, after all, the work wouldn't do itself. On a grey evening, I remember, Zack found himself floating out in the astery. The Zed stacks were busy in the port, but Zorin had ordered him to the harbour mouth in case any ships needed a tow. I didn't think he was getting. Oh well. At least he knows to leave the big work to a proper tug. Apparently, no ships were on the horizon. If only there was work out there. Seemingly, out of nowhere, a silhouette of a ship appeared not far away. Hmm? Strange. But we didn't see it in the dark. He floated towards the ship. Strangely, the further he sailed out, the quieter the wind became, as if being silenced. Ahoy! Looking to get in the... It turned out to be a tramp steamer. An old one at that. Its hull was dented and scratched, groaning as it bobbed in the water. Ice clung to its rusty rails, and its face was tinged blue. Rough journey. Please help me. <laughs> what big cheap? Big thing like you? Only one of me. Not to mention all the damage on you. Got cost a pretty penny. I'll take that as a yes. Right then, let's get on with it. Zack attached a tow line onto the tramp. He looked out across the water. All was calm. Right, you're on good hands now. What the? Hey, what's going on? In seconds that felt like years, the storm ceased. Zack cautiously opened an eye. The sea water was calm as before, as if there had not been no storm at all. The sooner this winter is over, the better. You're right back there. Hey, I said, are you? What? How the... Huh? He stared at the horizon in bewilderment. And there, once again, was the ship's silhouette. Let's, um... Powerful win, I suppose. Zack steamed out to the ship. It stared at him with the same frightened look. Don't blame you. <laughs> I don't fancy taking a ride like that myself. Again, and more violent than before. The wind and snow swirled around him like a hurricane. Now Zack could feel something bumping him hard against his hull, cold and creaking. He didn't dare open his eyes. Oh, not that he could see anyway, but it felt like ice. Ouch! What's the big deal, huh? Zack cracked his eyes open again. There was no snow or wind. He looked at the water around him, and found no trace of ice. Stranger still, his hull was completely unharmed. 
the mysterious ship was out in the distance. The cold suddenly became unbearable, and Zack's engine began steaming in anger. Is someone playing a joke on me? Right, enough of this. That ship is coming for me, even if it takes me all night. It'll be more salvage if it's the last thing I do. Not worth the fight. I'd let this one go, my darling. It was Hercules, returning from an ocean-going contract. Ugh, none of your concerns, Star. You may be bigger, but it's finders capers. I wouldn't try bringing that wreck in to stay afloat, and neither should you. You'll drive yourself mad. And why is that? That ship is not of this world. Pah! Can't drive me away that easily. Oldest trick in the book. Didn't know you stars were so desperate for work that you resort to ghost stories. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts, sweetheart. But bigger tugs than you and I have tried to tow that vessel in. Never succeeding, and of course. But I'll have so that you've already gathered that. Oi! Not my fault. It's the weather. It was weather. It's calm as a clam. And yet, when you're near that ship... Alright then, go on. What do you know? No one knows for certain. The story goes that, long ago, it became mired in a heavy ice during the winter storm. Damaged and stranded, it was abandoned by its crew. When they came back to salvage it, they found nothing. It was assumed, of course, that it sunk, but... It just kept appearing out at sea, ever damaged, begging for someone to help it set free. Of course, I've tried to help it once. No one was tumbling or a distress call. You've seen the line as I told. That ship was a dinghy by comparison. <laughs> no amount of strength in the world could bring that jumper in. Something always goes wrong. And every time it does, that ship gets further and further away. Taunting and baiting you to try again. Some wisely give up. Others stubbornly keep trying, but that mad desire to succeed only leads them to Davy Jones's locker. Zack gulped, though he tried to hide it from Hercules. But I don't fancy having to tell Captain Zero you'll need a new habitat. You might as well make your home here in the estuary. Deluma, dear. Zack looked back towards the tramper. It sat motionless. A rising moon, a backdrop to its eerie silhouette. To Zack, the sounds of ice hitting steel echoed in the distance, and the wind seemed to carry faint cries for help. Oh, forget it. Probably not w worth that much of salvage anyway. Zack floated back into the boat, following the hurricanes. The ship stayed where it was, floating aimlessly in the silent sea though it didn't stay silent for long. Where's that old Zack? I told him to bring in ships. Zorn looked over the horizon and spotted the waiting ship. <laughs> He's lost. Captain Zao will be pleased with the savage money that wreck brings in. I wonder if Zorn will come to his senses like Zack. Don't you?